You clicked on this video because you either saw this thumbnail, this thumbnail, or this thumbnail, and thought that was cool. Uh, the all, all of these uh, are generated through this uh, AI workflow. I'll show you in this video. I saw this on my feed, and so their videos are making some good views. So I said, why not uh, inspire from their thumbnails? <laughs> I liked their last image because I will talk about thumbnails in this video and like those four panels will work great as other thumbnail examples I could create, like that was my own thought process. And I clicked over this video, I copied their URL to put into this uh, website, uh, you'll find this in the description, it's easy to find. And I click get thumbnails, uh, the HD one is just right here, H this is the best quality of the uh, reference image we have. Then I head over to Gemini because uh, Gemini 3 Pro is a great model. I uh, like give this uh, reference image, then paste in this prompt I have created to extract style elements uh, from a thumbnail. If I were to upload multiple thumbnails from this person, it would uh, extract like the generalized elements from it. But because I only uploaded one uh, thumbnail, it only uh, like extracts the information from this uh, one uh, thumbnail. So I will get an exact uh, replication of this uh, one instead of uh, like copying up their whole uh, conceptual uh, design of these thumbnails. Uh, you could do that if you are interested in multiple thumbnails and just uh, getting a sense of their overall thumbnail style of a per brand or maybe you are like working with a brand and they have consistent brand identity, uh, you want to replicate that. In that case, you would give multiple images in this uh, step, but because I'm only like trying to replicate this single thumbnail, I am giving a, a singular thumbnail. It returns me a JSON prompt. This JSON is actually like a pretty uh, machine uh, way of seeing an image and categorizing it. Uh, it looks uh, at psychological hook, lightning and atmosphere, text rendering, uh, layout and structure, and a nano banana template uh, which involves like a sim simple prompting. Then I have a prompt structure as this one, uh, like it would require me to upload the thumbnail, thumbnail reference, uh, my own picture, and the JSON that we just got from the custom prompt. Then I would uh, have to write out my own context for this thumbnail specifically, like what is this video about, what is this thumbnail uh, should look like what will be existing in the thumbnail elements. Uh, I would write it down in this context section. Then the text hook, uh, I, I just don't like uh, AI to decide what the text hook should be in the thumbnail and like uh, you've seen my, my is viral thumbnails, too easy. This is something I came up with instead of the AI. Like I like to have that kind of creative control, uh, so I write it out myself. Then head over to Gemini again, select the banana option here to create images and select the thinking option for like three pro thinking. Uh, so you get the Nana Banana Pro and not the old Nana Banana. Then I gave it everything it needs. Like uh, I want I want to have the thumbnail reference, my own image. And like for my own case here, I needed to also upload the four uh, back panel images of thumb other thumbnails. I uploaded four other thumbnails, my own image, uh, like as you can see, this is me, and the thumbnail reference we started with. Uh, if I like extend this, uh, I also wrote out some other contextual elements uh, that I do not show here because just it will be just too long. Then I also asked in the context of this uh, prompt to, to make the balls in the background as blue, like the, the, as you can see, it is blue and it is me. Uh, the Nano One Nano Pro can handle a lot of the complex tasks you ask it to. Uh, you just need to know how to ask it. Uh, which is why I created this kind of workflow. Uh, you would ask it in the context window here and this overall uh, works on its own. Uh, if you like forget to add some things, it can like interpret and think about how to like fill in that blank for, for on its own. And if you just don't like it, you just uh, retry, retry, retry. Like this is the third version and there were some other versions I didn't like. Like I was holding a banana like open. I, I didn't really like those. so. There, that you can just retry and retry again and open up a new window, retrying that one again if you do not like any of the generations here. Also, if you do not uh, like really like uh, some outputs, like, and I was getting some outputs that I really hated because uh, there was this uh, Wojak element, like this is the, the, this person in the background, this is called Wojak in the internet meme space. Uh, there was a lot of Wojak in the background of the thumbnail uh, panels I wanted to replace with my own stuff. And I was like, uh, keep keeping wondering why that's happening. 
and like I looked over to the prompt and the JSON actually had a line here that said with Wojak style meme panels representing idealized uh, wild status like this, there was some information about its, uh, the background uh, panels being Wojak so I just removed that uh, this is why it's crossed off here I, I removed that information and I replaced it uh, with uh, what my thumbnails were actually representing so you need to read over this uh, stuff like at least once to make sure you are creating what you are desiring. Uh, you, that way you won't be frustrated, but everything else is pretty automated, so you can read over some text, right? Then like uh, you click over the download here, so it the downloads in 2K resolution. It's pretty great. Then like you need to upload it into a place like uh, Canva. Uh, in the Canva, you need to edit out the like this watermark that Gemini leaves in the bottom right. You want to select the image and edit. Uh, you click magic eraser, uh, like you want to maybe reduce the brush size a little bit. So you get all of the watermark here, then you erase it. Uh, this way you will get a th YouTube thumbnail that is without the Gemini watermark. And like this is it, like this is the thumbnail. I also have this workflow written out step by step with the exact prompts I am using. Uh, it, it will be available in the community and the community is free to join. The link to join the community will be in the description. It will be the first link you see. There is a lot of the explanation going on here. Uh, like you can just uh, read this, go step by step and create your own thumbnail. And there will also be a bonus step here, which I didn't show in this uh, video. But this is if you, for those people who want more creative control over their thumbnails. Uh, this is like a step-by-step -step version of editing this uh, thumbnail. Like it, first I change uh, myself, then I change the elements, and then I change the background to make this thumbnail unique. Uh, this is like taking a thumbnail or maybe two, three thumbnails, combining their elements, uh, like changing it up what, uh, with whatever it is that you desire. Uh, like that kind of creative control is available with this bonus step prompt. Like I, I show you how I do it. So you can just replicate the concept uh, yourself with your own thumbnails. Uh, this is the page you'll see when you click over the link in the description. You just need to click the join here and enter your email. Then like you will have to uh, verify that uh, email that comes to your mailbox. But uh, you will be able to join the community. You will get notifications when I uh, like post other workflows just like this one or like ask about some AI news that you heard and I could make a video on it, I could create a workflow on it. Uh, or whatever workflow I'm creating they will be available to pick up here for free uh, for a limited time of course. Uh, just click head over to the description and click the link and join so you get access to this thumbnail creation workflow and of course if you do all that of course uh, like subscribe to the channel also and like stay tuned for the next workflow i will create and uh, maybe let me know what you need next uh, in the community or in the comments of this video uh, see you in the next one